Yes. Taste of group here. Very root beery. Mm -hmm. One more test, just to be sure. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Could be colder. In today's video, we're going to see what happens if you boil wet cement. Also, what happens if you mix cement with root beer? Guys, we have some facet and concrete mix. 50 pounds of it. It's the smallest quantity I could buy, but it's still heavy. So we have a few different experiments today. You came up with three, actually. Yes. Awesome. So it sounds like we are going to try and boil wet cement. And did that idea come from someone? Grant. I love it. So this is one of the things that we have had on our list for a very long time. So Grant's idea had been to try and boil wet cement. What happens? And then we're also going to try and mix it with soda. And we're also going to listen to that airplane above our heads. Here's the basic idea. We've got a bag of fast setting concrete mix and we've got three experiments we want to try with it. Boiling it, mixing it with soda, and mixing it with dry ice. So this was one of Grant's ideas. He wanted to see what would happen if you tried to boil wet cement. And then you came up with two. One is we are going to try and see what happens if it mixes with soda. Yeah, instead it, of water. Will it still set? Is I'm it going to be different? And then dry ice. So both of those will have some carbonation. I wanted to see like with the dry ice, we'll actually mix up the cement with water first and then take some crushed up dry ice, throw that in there as well. And then with the root beer, we'll use that instead of water. So it won't have like as much CO2 in it, but it will be more evenly dispersed throughout the liquid. Let's start boiling it. This is concrete, which means we have cement, probably some sand, pebbles, everything all mixed together. And that's probably a good amount. In fact, we may have more than we need. So we've got this all mixed up. Looks like a great consistency for pouring into a fence post or something, but we're not gonna do that. All right, that is a pot full of wet cement. I like it. Should we just go full temperature? Yep, full throttle. A quick setting cement, it hasn't really even had time to heat up on the surface. The surface is slightly warm, but it's already begun to set. So we might, if we can get this out of the pot, or if we have another pot, we might try this again, but with like a lot more water. See what a very, very soupy mix does. I don't know what's going to happen to all of it, but I think I can say with quite a bit of a surety at this point, it will not boil. This is basically solid. I'm gonna have to start making a spreadsheet on all the pots we lose. Ooh, neat! Oh. So we're gonna go for way more water this time. And that's about the mixture we had last time. So we're just gonna, yeah, I think that'll do it. That's quite a bit more water. It's basically a cement slurry with just a lot more water on top of it. What do you think is gonna happen? Because I, think I boil, have a guess. I think it'll boil a little bit before just solidifying again maybe even underneath some water. We'll see if we can get it to boil. It might just be that the heat which we're using to try and make it boil will cause the cement to cure super fast before it has a chance to even get to boiling. Oh, well, it's gonna be hot somewhere in there. Nah. No. Oh, like right there, that one little spot. Everywhere else is cold, in fact. So it's not being stirred. Now my fingers. Oh. Boiled. Oh. So because there's so much cement in there, it can't circulate well. So the water that's in contact with the bottom of the pan, which is of course touching the burner, is heating up much faster than everything around it because it's not mixing you much. Bubble. And we do have several bubble points and it's gray water bubbling up. I wouldn't really say it looks like cement boiling. Without being able to see much what happened, I think a boiling spot oh, it's making pushed sound. more of the cement out of the way and then more water ends up right there. So I suspect that we're ending up with like a pit in the cement right there. All the extra water seems to have now boiled away mm -hmm. or started to combine with the cement itself. And we did get some interesting formations. Let's just let this go for a little bit until it seems a little more solid like the other one like got cement. to. Scoops them out, threw it into our nerdy nummies poop emoji mold. And I wanna try this with all three types that we do today, boiled root beer, and dry ice. Very good. And we're starting to get some dry on the surface now. It's not warm, the surface isn't warm, it's the steam that's coming out of these little tiny holes. This is actually not fully hardened by, by this amount of time. 
the first batch had definitely hardened, so having too much water in here and boiling it while it was cooling down has clearly done something to it. Definitely change it up. Yeah, so let's try and get this out of the pot the same way we did the other stuff and see how they are. Oh boy. I don't think you're gonna have any problem with that. I got it out. Huh. It has like no structural integrity at all. We are going to let the poop emoji mold set over the weekend and see how strong it is then. On to the next one. Ha! So immediately, foam. Lots just of foam. So much foam. Lots of foam. And now it's way too thin, so I'm just gonna keep adding the concrete mix until we have a good consistency. Do you think it's going to set? I think so, but CO2 in the carbonated soda, it is going to slightly acidify the water. It, I think know, it's gonna make it very acidic. weak. I, I think it'll that's set. That's kind of my guess. But I think it's gonna make it weak. That is my guess. We're gonna end up with so much more than we need and we're gonna probably try and shape it into a little bit of a brick or something and of course we'll have some in the poop emoji mold. This is the best smelling concrete that's ever been made. Ooh, I wonder if a company could like make money by starting a concrete company where they just add a scent, like they have scented bags. It's like this is cotton candy scented concrete and the work site just smells amazing all the time. Until like day 43 and they're just like, oh, not again. That's why you gotta change it up. You gotta switch over to like the pear flavor and then do the cream soda flavor. You can't just use the same flavor A nice all the time. eucalyptus. Oh, sandalwood. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really smelling any root beer anymore, mm -hmm. but it is kind of cool. Like looking at it, there are, a bubbles. I think more bubbles than usual just coming to the surface. And I know yeah. we do often want to, to shake up or something cement to try and reduce the number of bubbles, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, let's get some in the poop emoji before it goes. Yeah. This is starting to solidify. This is the cement that was cooked quite a bit. Okay. All right, there's oh, a little too much poop emoji. Now, what should we do with the rest of our root beer cement? We're gonna have to let it solidify and then we'll, yeah, shape it into how a about, How about let's uh, sort of carve out a oh, vague I brick like shape in the sand and pour this in. You got it. That's a decent brick, I suppose. So here's the plan. Okay. That's, yep, yep. Um, Neat. Look at that. That's just mind blowing. Dry ice and cement. The things we do on this channel. So I uh, smashed this up a fair amount. So we've got quite a bit of like powdered and small pebble dry ice. That dust is really what I want a good amount of. Quite a bit of dry ice. Oh, ooh, this looks cool. Neat. So the vapor needs a place to escape. Let's do just a little bit at first. I'm gonna let, here's the thing, you're, you will be upset if I control it, so I'm gonna let you control it. Nope. Ooh! That. This? I'm when, gonna need a stir stick. Do you think this will keep it from setting? So far, it looks like the dry ice likes to float on top of it. So we're also kind of just freezing the cement. You know how we've made ice cream with dry ice and slushies? Your turn. Go ahead we've and try. Kinda, we've kind of done that to our concrete mix here. All right, I'm gonna see if I can scoop ha! out. Good luck. Carefully, sort of carefully. Push it down. Oh, that's a big old piece of dry ice. I want little pieces of dry ice. We're gonna let our poop emojis and the bowl and our brick just sit out over the weekend. Yep. And we're gonna come back and see how they are once we're all finished. We've now let this dry. We actually let this go for a couple weeks to let the concrete hit full strength. So we've got our boiled concrete. We've got concrete with root beer as well as this brick we cast into the ground. And we have our concrete with the dry ice. Let's see if we can get them out of the mold. Oh, pop right out. That's cool, the root beer I think actually gave it some darker color and look how much smoother that is too. The boiled, this is weirdly lightweight. Like this one does not weigh as much, this one's way heavier than this. And this one's kind of in between the two. Let's see if we can dig our brick out. I might need a shovel for this. There we go. Well, root beer cement. All right, I wanna do a little bit of a strength test. We're gonna take these over onto the driveway pad and start hitting them with a hammer. See what that does. 
need to start with just a, on this root beer brick here, some light tapping. I'm not attacking it very aggressive. Oh, that was not very aggressive was what I was trying to say. That cracked open pretty easily. It's dark and it kind of looks like it's still wet on the inside and I honestly think that a lot of that is just because we used root beer. It's just darker. It's not that it's wet, it's just dark. Oh wow. So this is our boiled that I like scooped out. It was still liquid, but it wasn't like really thin. But I am just amazed at how light this is. This feels like chalk more than it feels like, oh boy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it holds up about like chalk too. It was a heavy sledgehammer, but that really had very little strength to it. Root beer, so this I believe is the same stuff as that. It's been a few weeks. Okay, this same amount of pressure, I had already powderized this one. Now it is breaking, but that's like the same amount that I was hitting this one. It just completely powderized it. Ugh. It is still breaking down quite a bit though. Definitely stronger. It took longer, it was denser, it was heavier, uh, but it still broke down quite a bit. And here's our dry ice stuff. That's a, oh, it's kind of in between the two. It held up more than the boiled stuff, but less than the root beer stuff. So overall, I gotta say, I'm not impressed with the strength of this stuff. Hey, don't follow the instructions, you don't get good results, who knew? So the boiled, so lightweight, and I, I imagine it's because there was so little water in it, you know, most of it had boiled away, and so it was a lighter weight stuff going in, and then it cured so light and airy, and I think because it didn't have the water, you know, you're supposed to mix this stuff with a good amount of water, and then you're supposed to like keep it damp as it cures. You're not even supposed to let the surface dry out. And so I think it had so little water in it that it wasn't able to form good, strong bonds. Obviously, a lot of water evaporated out of it instead of bonding with the concrete. It was light and just empty. The root beer and the dry ice, which were fairly similar, mostly I'm amused by how much darker it is mixing with root beer. It's some good caramel color. It did seem a little weak to me. I wasn't hitting it very hard and it kind of just fell to pieces with both of these. So carbonated concrete, probably not the best idea. I don't think it forms good bonds. Adding the carbon dioxide does make it slightly acidic as well, which could be affecting how well it cures and how strong those bonds are. Overall, probably best to avoid that if you want it to be strong, but it is fun to see what happens. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff coming out. Hit that button right there to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll never miss out on something cool, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.